whisper. You damn near can't even tell what we said. So the whole time, I'm thinking it's something that nobody's going to catch on to, bro. Had I had known that the mic was in front of his face and I'm looking to the other side, because what he's saying is low. But that might be the best thing. I would have been like, maybe not one of these guys or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Like, cuz I'm a funny nigga too. Had it been a, a motherfucking engagement where it was me and him talking and I was focused on him and he did it, I would have told that, like, you're gonna be getting one of these guys. Nigga, baby, why? Nigga, baby, ask again. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't make no gesture because of how he was moving the show and the girl was just complaining about us politicking about hood issues the whole show and we invited her on and we didn't do no girl topic like if you watch the show you would see that was like the turning point of the show girl. but at the end of the day it looked heavy because i'm six so i was now brick baby is literally digging his own ditch after all of those videos and blogs about him knowing that dw flames is a friend and would never have reacted differently now he is telling Sporty Face that he knows that he did wrong? Brick Baby is wrong for this for two reasons. First off, obviously DW Flames is someone he keeps calling his true friend. So why would you talk about your true friend like that in private? That leads to the second point. The fact that Brick thinks he is telling a fellow member from a neighboring hood, in private, that his public work friend deserved more than he is saying in public, is insane. If you are telling other members that things are different in private than they are in public with DW Flames, they could use that to plot against DW Flames, because they think that you would not care. Especially if you are the main reason why they are being cool with him. Brick Baby is so confusing and hard to trust, it's sad to say, but I don't see how his relationship with DW Flames could remain solid. They could and should still try to work with each other, because you don't need to be friends with who you work with. But how can you trust him knowing that this stuff would have been said and though about behind DW Flames back, if Sporty Face never recorded the call? I know a lot of people want to uphold some street aura, but if you are saying that Sporty Face is wrong, do you think it's cool for DW Flames be disrespected behind his back? The worst thing is that Brick Baby keeps saying he didn't see the recording yet and don't plan on watching it. We will discuss how insane that is, and how he is bound to make things worse if he keeps that mentality. Is Brick Baby really crashing out? 